our next guest is a multi-award winning illustrator with numerous bestsellers to his name. He has illustrated more than 90 books which have been published in 27 countries. New Zealand's own Donovan Vixley has just released a second book in the Flying Furball series and he joins us now. Donovan, welcome! Yay! <laughs> really nice to have you here. Now this book, so you've got the number one, number two in here, um, the second one just being published now. Tell us about this story. Well, I guess, um, you know, when I was growing up, I just really loved drawing pictures of animals and I really loved planes, so I like drawing pictures of planes, but you know, you have to grow up and no, you don't. start pursuing <laughs> serious adult interests. So, I mean, I guess that's why my latest book is set in Paris. But you know, back in the old days when Pussycats used to fly planes in Paris. <laughs> right, OK. Well, obviously, so, um, obviously. So you can't go wrong with pussycats flying planes in Paris. No, no, you're right. And, you know, to try and put it into perspective for you all, um, I guess it's easier just to play you this. Have a look. <laughs> Action stations, everybody. Meet Claude Debonair, the youngest pilot in the Cats Air Corps. With the help of his friends, Claude must go on a rescue mission to a dark and dangerous castle, crawling with enemy guard dogs. Full of belly laughs, cat tricks and catastrophe, flying verbals will make you jump, make you giggle and make you want to read beyond the very last page. Oh, and that's what it's all about, making you want to read and keep going and having an adventure. So what's the inspiration behind this? Is, there, is, it, is it based on something you've seen or people you know? Um, well, actually, I mean, when you say people I know, more like uh, cats I know, really. <laughs> in right. fact, most of the cats, apart from, as you saw on the clip there, you know, the main hero of the story is called Claude. <laughs> but... Um, you know, there aren't many heroic cats, and all the, all the rest of the cats in the story are actually based on real cats that I've either known or owned. Okay. owned really? Do you have cats at the cats. moment? Do you yes. own them? And so, for example, one of, the, one of the cats is called C4, and he's kind of like Q in, um, in James Bond. Right. He's the inventor, but he's based on our real cat, C4, who was number four cat, because uh, the other ones had... C4. Oh, right. that's an original name. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so where, did you, where did you get your start as an illustrator? Was it something you always wanted to do, or where did, you, did you fall into it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I've always been drawing pictures my whole life. I just never really knew that I could uh, make a living out of it. When did you figure out that you were actually quite good at it? Uh, fairly early on. Um, my mum used to, when I was at primary school, my mum was a high school teacher and she used to get me to draw pictures for her classes and so I guess I must have been quite good back then but uh, you know it was a really good way to get school bully on side when you're at primary school, you know, draw a picture of trucks. <laughs> Which by the way is why I really don't like drawing trucks anymore. Wow. Right? Some kind of weird psychological thing there. But you, aeroplanes, get me you're into aeroplanes. Into it. I know. Well, you are a fascinating man, and I, I love the way you're rocking that hat too. It just makes you so interesting. And I'm going to talk more. <laughs> <Just that>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk more about that in just a minute. And out of everything that you've published, um, I'm going to make you pick a favourite. So before you answer that, just hold fire. We'll come back in just a minute. Well, we're back on the couch with the amazing illustrator Donovan Bixley, who's just released his second book in the Flying Furballs series. Now, Donovan, I must ask you before we talk about this again, you've also, you, I mean, you've illustrated over 90 books, but I actually spoke to you recently about your Shakespeare one, Much Ado About Shakespeare. And has that just been published in Chinese? Yes, just, came, uh, just coming out, uh, it's been out in Taiwan and Hong Kong and complex Chinese, and now it's coming out in simplified Chinese in do you China. get royalties for that? Because that's a whole big market there for you. Yes, yeah. The, um, the uh, Asian market seems to really like my Shakespeare book for some reason, mainly, mainly possibly because it's illustrated and they've got oh, yeah. a really strong tradition of illustrated books for adults. It's cool. It's really nice. So are you more an illustrator or a writer? I guess I'm more naturally an illustrator. I always right. think of in pictures first, but um, it's... So you, so you do the pictures and then you write the story or do you write the story and do the pictures? Because you do both, don't you? <laughs> yes. Well, that's a, <laughs> it's all going on all at the same time. So you're sp supposed to write the story first and yeah, then, then do, the, do pictures. the pictures. But because I'm an author and an illustrator, I usually end up writing stories about things I want to draw pictures about. Right. So, which is why we end up with pussycats and planes in Paris. They're great. So you've got the two <laughs> books out now. Yes. Is there going to be a Flying Furballs number three? Is this going to be your Harry Potter of books? Yes, well, I have a, it's a nine book series because in every book he, he's, he has a terrible accident and crashes his plane and loses one of his nine lives and 
<laughs> oh, and you have to, well, I won't let the cat out of the bag, but... I'm not looking forward to the last book in the series. It might be a bit of a tear-jerker. I tell you what, we need to turn this into a TV show, don't we? I reckon this would be a great TV show. You could do all the illustrations for it. Yeah. Oh, I, don't know about, I don't know about that. That might be... Maybe get someone else to do all the illustrations. Hey, you can do it all. It'll be fine. Hey, Donovan, it's been such a pleasure having you here. Donovan's latest book, Flying Furballs, Hot Air, which is the second in his Flying Furball series, is available in good bookstores right and online right now. Thank you so much. Much, Donovan, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you.